Nosing 24B. Hello, hello. Haven't seen that truck in a while. She's, she's gonna start tinkering on it. But guys, welcome back to another video here with Project Cummins Mud Truck. It's gonna be a fun one, boys. We've got the custom, custom intake on the truck. This is where we left off in the previous video and we're gonna finish this up today. I got the intake on the truck. I actually got the hardware put on there. If, hey, babe, if you could pop the hood, that would be great. So actually, it mounts up, this four inch mounts up to the factory intake perfectly. And I'll show you what I mean here. She's gonna pop the hood there. So if you look under the hood here, you got this factory intake hose that comes off and it's a four and a half inch inlet on the inside and five inches outside to outside. So it mounts up to that flawlessly. And I will show you guys there. No weird big gaps where the uh, hole is cut. I mean, it is a really clean and tight fitment. I mean, it's it's a really good fitment. And then these bolts here, of course, they're, they're just temporarily there just to hold that up because that's where I left off. But we're gonna take those back out. We're actually gonna paint the bolts, that bracket, and all the PVC pipe, even our little filter up here. We're gonna paint it all to match black. We're gonna do a flat black color on all that. We're gonna get that done, and then after that, it's gonna be ready for the new tires, which aren't gonna be in today's video, but hopefully the very next one. Also, in today's video, we should be getting that duly picked up with the new tint. Can't wait to show you guys that one in a little bit. Well, the LNP uh, stamps slash letter she's putting on the side of each truck is actually turning out pretty good. I'll show you this side. It's hard to fully picture it because it's not, you know, the tape's still on there. She's not done coating it, but the L and P, it's going to be pretty funny. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, I mean, you always, you always got to plug, you know. Get up real close here. This is like coat, I want to say, I don't even know. Four, and it's starting to look pretty darn good. It's not completely dry in this last coat, but it's almost dry. It's going to be a flat black color, and it's going to look it's going to look pretty darn good. Well, she got the tape on, she says, so we'll see how it looks. This is a little over spray, but we're not worried about that. It's a little windy today. It's a little windy. It's on my point, so <laughs> I don't I don't. With all the rust and the holes everywhere and the floorboards missing, I don't think like overspray is what we're worried about. The end's kind of interesting. <laughs> the, end, the end looks a little bit funky. But I gotta say, you did a pretty darn good job for not actually having a stencil and just kind of <laughs> <It looks like laughs> trying something. to make it work. It, it goes with the theme of the truck. Which is what? Rough looking? Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's not bad. It's just, I don't know. It looks goofy. DIY the do-it-yourself truck this is the DIY truck <laughs> and this is the good and this truck's gonna be the reason why you don't do it yourself <laughs> the paint should all be dry it's been sitting for a couple hours now as you can see my fiance did the LNP on both sides always plug she's she is awesome and then we also did just get the dually back from getting tint work done so boom take a look at that what we did is 5% on the driver and passenger side main windows, 5% on the back glass. It looks really good. We also did 5% on the completely back of the uh, cab. Not that you can even really see the back glass with the headache rack on there, but we did do 5%. And then on the front, we just did, I believe it is a 30%, I think is what he said. Not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure he said 30. But from the inside, looking out, Obviously, once you're in and the lighting is settled here, I'll get in so you guys can see. But of course, if you guys have ever had 5%, you understand that with the doors closed and, you know, camera lighting good, you got you guys can see the difference between 5 and 30. Quite a bit of difference. But we didn't want the truck to be completely illegal for everybody in the country, depending on who wins this truck. But keep in mind, guys, this truck could be yours for as little as $15. Go pick out a couple of your favorite items. We've got windshield decals, we've got license plates, we've got hoodies, t-shirts, hats, all kinds of stuff. Guys, if you have entered the other giveaways too, and you saw what we used to have, there's a completely new store and completely new options. Like, it is nuts. You have to go check it out. Every $15 gets you another entry to win this truck. So we got 
the snorkel on the first gen. Looks really good, I think. I've seen some really crappy looking snorkel kits on trucks. This looks freaking good and it's solid. This bracket, I thought it'd be better to bolt it on with a washer on the back and with this metal plate on the front side and just like sandwich it together to keep it tight and snug. And this thing is not going anywhere. Like it's tight and it's glued here, 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 and up here. Not here because that's tight and it clips into place anyways. But I didn't glue the inside one so that you could always pull that pipe out if you wanted to. And then all you'd have to do to get this completely removed is you'd actually have to cut this right here if you wanted to take it off. But it's not that big of a deal. It's just PVC and it's cheap. Well, not that cheap I found out today. Um, but it's not that expensive either. It's, I don't know. It's, it's good for the value, I guess. But anyways, then on the inside here, you can see, show them in the hood. You can see we took the factory hose, four inch hose, and we fed it to this PVC, and that's pretty freaking solid too. And then it's got a one-way fitting on the back so that the fitting can't pull through the fender because it's all beveled out on the back side there. It's all blown out. Um, but anyway, so we're gonna close the hood here. You can see the final look. Take a look at it. It, looks, it actually looks really good for a play truck. With a snorkel kit on it, it actually does look really, <laughs> it looks pretty darn good um, for what we're trying to do with it. And like I said, the fitment of this was actually really nice. There's not a big ugly gap around that and it fits perfect. It's really snug, seamlessly up the side of the truck and uh, it looks good. It does look like, uh, not quite, but almost an out of the box snorkel kit. And like I said, all I did was a four inch to three inch adapter with a 90, a 24 inch section of three inch PVC with a three inch to three inch 45 degree PVC, another 24 inch section of PVC, a three inch to four inch um, piece of PVC, which is a straight 90, and then also a little filter up top, which is just one of those generic, you set it over top of your, um, uh, PVC stuff like if it's let's say it's sitting out your back porch It's a vent for your dryer or you know, whatever it keeps, you know birds debris small critters stuff And it's supposed to keep the majority of stuff that could possibly get in there out But this is of course just for our application mudding so you don't have chunks of mud fly up in there and bury into your intake kit so it doesn't look too bad Like I said, we cut the fenders in the other video, but now what we're gonna do which is one of the most important pieces to a mud truck is a chain just in case you get stuck. So we're gonna hook that up right now. And where I'm thinking about hooking it, actually I'll, sh I'll show you once I'm done, but it's actually gonna look pretty good under the truck. It now, needs a gold chain because yeah. it's a gangster mud yeah. truck. Yeah, a gangster mud <laughs> truck. So anyways, when you look at the snorkel kit down the side of the truck too, notice how it sits flush up against the truck and it mounts to the body lines of the truck and it stays close to it versus I've seen some where there's like a big ugly gap and it sticks way out the side and just doesn't look right at all. This one actually looks really good. So we're gonna get the chain hooked up right now. Well, I don't know if that chain's gonna hold that big old dog pulling it up out of the river. <laughs> Here we go. Money in the bank. Now, let's see if we can go through I'm that. Just gonna have it hanging like, like some bling in the front. <laughs> If that bling saves me if I'm stuck, heck yeah, bro. I'm not recording. I don't care. I ain't saying anything I regret. There she be. And this is the worst case scenario. Save my rear end strap. <laughs> the Cummins mud truck is officially done except for the wheels and tires in some slight trimming I'm still going to be doing to the fenders uh, the inner fender liners but other than that it's good so we've got the chain right here and all I did was I drilled a 3 8 hole that's big enough to actually um, you know fit this threaded rod in through there I measured it and centered it up and then in, in terms of that I just did a flat washer and a nut on both sides and uh, it's pretty good and then this weight here is just to keep this chain from sliding off the end of this um, which this hook is hooked on like that and it can't I mean it can't come off there even if you wanted to and uh, the chain is there specifically for in case the truck 
does get stuck and we need to pull it out with, let's say the tractor or the dually, uh, we can throw a chain in there, hook it on there and it's good to go. Now this is where it's hooked on, which is this cross member, which is bolted onto the frame on both sides, which this and this are one big piece. It just kind of goes up and comes down, but they're all, it's all connected. And these are rated for, I think like 3000 pounds a piece technical. I don't know what that technical rating is for, but these hooks right here, are rated for that a piece and the chain itself is rated I think for 5,000. Um, now in terms of that weight, that all depends on the use of the chain. I don't know exactly what those numbers stand for, but I got some of the heaviest duty stuff that I could find at our local Menards. And uh, yeah, it's good to go. It looks kind of funny with the gold chain, but look at that. Got the snorkel on and all painted up. We got the front chain, just in case we got to pull out of the creek there. We got the LMP spray painted on both sides of the truck and then in today's video we also got the tent done on the dually and it does look good so thank you guys so much for stopping in and watching today's video hopefully you guys enjoyed that lots more stuff coming to the cummins mud truck in terms of like content for the truck we're just getting started with that it's going to be a freaking blast then also a couple more things we still got to do to the dually but do not forget you can enter to win this truck we are down to less than two weeks to enter to win this truck. It ends May 13th and then the giveaway is done. It's been a good day out here. We got three videos filmed today and it was a lot of fun, but uh, it's time to wrap it up because I gotta edit all these videos I filmed. So thank you guys so much. Every $15 you spend gets you another entry to win this truck. Information and link in the description below. Go check out the website and all the new merch. Also, don't forget that we have the 2019 limited 3500 coming in these next couple uploads you're gonna see that truck it's freaking sweet it's an awesome truck i cannot wait to show it to you guys on this channel and make some content on that thing but anyways guys leave a fat thumbs up comment down below subscribe if you're new join the team join the family we'll catch you in the next video peace